Hi YouTube, I am Sujit from Advanced Excel Training Center, IPT Hill School. Today in this class, we discuss about the how can we make the pivot table with the data. Multiple pivot table with data. So, this is the data and now we have insert the one pivot table in the one new sheets. And we have named that name as a pivot. We can create the pivot here. I want to summary of the total our quantity by June. So we have put the quantity in the value field and also June in the row field. So now we have got the June by total sold quantity. But problem is that I want to also see the amount total amount sales amount. So we have put the sales amount. In the value section, we got the sales amount. But now we have compared this with like this uh, table with the chart. So when we create the chart, there is the comparing. You can see uh, the sales is the down and quantity is the up. So here is a no need to compare with sales to quantity, sales to quantity because quantity is the different part or sales the different part. So I want to make the two different different uh, chart. First chart the zone by sold quantity, second chart zone by the total sales value. But problem is that you can't create the multiple chart with one table. And skip the column with the skipping column. So we have created the two chart. First, we have skipped this, and second, we have skipped this. This is not possible with the pivot table. So we have created the one pivot table just like zone by quantity. Now I want to create here the zone by total sales amount. So how can do it? So go to the pivot. And click here insert pivot table. Now we have select the existing worksheet and go to the pivot. Click here in the location and go to the pivot. We have select the second location. You have remembered you have also keep the sum blank row and column because if your pivot, this pivot one is increased, your pivot will be decreased. So we have select the here and press the OK. So now remember. You have can't do anything the pivot one. If you change anything, change the pivot one, and maybe your column is the increase, your first your second pivot will, will be overlapped and deleted. So you have ensured you want, your first pivot is the done, then you have created the second pivot. So now we have clicked the zone here and we have put the total sales value in the value section. We have changed the name John and here amount. amount. Now we have created the uh, different different data visualization here. So and also we have cut this visualization and moved to another sheet. Also we have select here insert the second chart and cut here. And move to another sheet. Now I want to create the third chart here. Here. So same, go to the pivot, click here the pivot table and choose the, the existing worksheet and select the click the location and go to the pivot and select the location. Then OK. And we have now want to create the category wise. Total category wise, zone by total profit, uh, not a profit, uh, sales value. So, this is the third chart. You can also want to make the fourth chart. So, no need to go to the every time this data sheet and click the pivot and uh, select the things worksheet and select here the location. You can also copy all you have select the all pivot. All pivot, uh, pivot, pivot all data, complete pivot, and copy and paste to the locations. Remember, you have select everything. 
if you have just like you have put the uh, filter area so now you have select also filter also so select your complete pivot and copy to any another locations you have make the different pivot with the same data you can also insert the slicer go to the slicer and insert here slicer click click this like we have select the uh, regions and category and we have moved this slicer to another location also you, you can keep here also i go to the just like dashboard like that here but when you click the daily only for one chart will change second chart and and second data will be not changed because we uh, when you create the uh, slicer with one table you need to link to another table how can link the another pivot table just click the second pivot table here and go to the pivot table and rise here and click the filter connections and connect your slicer and select also go to the pivot table and click the slicer here sorry uh filter connection like that so now you can select the slicer also use the slicer so you have created the multiple pivot table with one data using this method if you like this video, please click on the like button. Also, subscribe my channel. If you want to learn the complete advanced section with me live online one-to-one, -one, please call me. My number on the screen. Thank you.